segueing off of that last property and catching Vivica's vibe, knowing that it didn't fit the mold of what she was looking for, you get a little anxious. Hello. What's going on? Oh my goodness. Hey there. Pleasure to meet you, Alexander. Nice. Alexander, Vivica Fox. Earlier this year on an episode of reality series Love and Listings, actress Vivica A. Fox made an appearance and was looking for a brand new house. While I'm not sure if she found her dream home just yet, she's been hunting in the multi-million dollar price range. Last year, Vivica put one of her longtime homes in the San Fernando Valley on the market. And she also had a slightly larger property in the Granada Hills area for many years. We'll be checking out a couple of Miss Fox's properties. We even found some of the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Vivica A. Fox is an actress, producer and TV host who began her career on Soul Training, continuing her career in soap operas like Days of Our Lives and Generations. Her breakthrough came in 1996 when she starred in two box office hit films, Independence Day and Set It Off. Since then, Vivica has been in more movies and TV shows, also producing and starring in Lifetime crime drama series Missing. In recent news, we learned she's not done working with Lifetime just yet, and starred and produced two new movies with them this past summer, The Wrong Wedding Planner and The Wrong Stepfather. Vivica said in an interview about working with Lifetime, Get your hustle on. They just love working with me and they're like, Honey, we're not done with you yet. And I was like, So what are we gonna do next? And so here we are. Who else likes those dramatic Lifetime movies? I can't be the only one. They're so entertaining. These days, the showbiz veteran has an estimated net worth of $4 million or more and has put her home in a 24-hour guard-gated community on the Porter Ranch neighborhood of LA on the market. I have a feeling that she's looking to upgrade. Hey guys, it's Karen. See, we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. In this one, we'll take a look at where Vivica A. Fox calls home like her longtime residence in Granada Hills and her most recent abode. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Janet Jackson and Nick Cannon, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. And let's get into this video. First, we'll take a look at somewhere Vivica used to live. While some online sources tag this place on the maps as still being the home the actress resides at, it said she sold the place years ago. This house is located in the Granada Hills area, which it appears Vivica has always favored. The home she's living in now is nearby. Granada Hills is a suburban residential neighborhood in LA on the northern edge of the city in the San Fernando Valley. Vivica's former abode was located in the private gated enclave of Bridalwood Estates and was only 30 minutes from downtown Los Angeles. Fox purchased the estate for only 825 k back in 2003, and after 7 years of living here, she sold it for $1.25 million. Most recently, it returned to the market for $1.3 million. The house sat on a 0.67 acre lot and inside spans 4,640 square feet. The home had additional privacy thanks to a gated driveway and clean groomed hedges out front. Vivica's house offered 5 beds and 4 baths and was built in a contemporary Mediterranean style. According to listing materials, the current owner's design aesthetic was eclectic with Buddhist statues, zebra prints and art deco glam throughout. The interior definitely has a dramatic appeal that makes the home more exciting. There's a cute and charming courtyard by the door and walking in you're greeted with a spacious and open floor plan. Common areas like the family room and kitchen have abundant windows and glass sliders allowing for lots of natural lights. There's a formal dining room and living room with fireplace, as well as access to the yard here. The kitchen is perfect for any gourmet cook, offering a center island with granite countertop. A bright space upstairs in the hallway has been transformed into an office area, and nearby you'll find Vivica's previous master suite. The luxury master bedroom features a balcony, fireplace, walk-in closet, and attached bath with spa, tub, and steam shower. Another selling point of this house is the bonus room, which looks super spacious and has areas to lounge and a pool table. Outside, the lush landscape yard includes a stone path leading to a lagoon style pool and spa, as well as a covered patio for summer entertaining. While it seems Vivica moved on some time ago from this place, she didn't move too far, that's for sure. Most recently, Vivica has been living in this humble home in Porter Ranch, Los Angeles, which is nearby to the last neighborhood she lived in, still in northern LA. She purchased this house in 2015 for 873 k and now it's on the market for $1.049 It's in a garden 
backyard eaten community, and while the home features a muted exterior, the interior has been decorated super lavishly, including bold images of the star and other entertainers showcased throughout. In fact, she gave a tour of her home in 2018 and talked about all that she loved about her place. <laughs> They move! Yeah! So see there, you don't feel like you're in a stuffy movie star's house. Built in 2014, this single story home offers up 2,251 square feet of living space with three beds and three baths. It has an open floor plan and the glam decorative scheme travels through the entire residence, even with a silver painted ceiling and geometric stained glass windows. The slim entrance hall leads to a number of different shared spaces, one of them a carpeted living room done up in shades of purple with French doors to the backyard. This room also also boasts a crystal chandelier and an oversized portrait of Michael Jackson, one of her biggest influences, as well as many framed photos of her godchildren. A wet bar is tucked away in a small alcove. Vivica said about the space, I get to relax in this room. When I decided to move into my ranch style home, I didn't want it to be stuffy. I wanted it to be fun. This is where I have all my friends over. It's like my front room and theater room mixed together. Attached to this space is the combo kitchen and formal dining room. Here there are more stained glass windows, hardwood floors, and the kitchen has granite counters and stainless steel appliances. Vivica also has a home office with open bookshelves showing off all of her awards and accolades. Elsewhere in the home, Vivica's master suite offers backyard access, two chandeliers that frame the bed, a fitted walk-in closet, and more stained glass on one wall. At present, a large portrait of Prince hangs above her bed. The master bath is glitzy, gold painted, and what Fox refers to as spa-like. She has a marble deep soaking tub, separate glass enclosed shower, and an extra vanity. Out back, the covered patio is unfurnished, so it doesn't seem she spends much time out here. This runs along the rear of the home with a small TV mounted above an outdoor fireplace. While Vivica Mose definitely put her touch on that Porter Ranch house, it seems she's looking for a new owner to hand it on to. Since the house is on the market and she appeared on Love and Listings House Hunting, it seems Vivica is looking for an upgrade. We can see that at least one of the lavish and modern LA homes she looked at was in the $5 million price range, so I guess we'll have to stay tuned and see where she moves to. <laughs> <laughs> it goes around to the left too. I mean, even at the top, you have I mean, so much look at that. I mean, I mean it's none of it that. keeps going. Yeah. After looking at Vivica A. Fox's homes, including her previous spot in Granada Hills and her current glam residence, what did you guys think? Be sure to pick your fave or rate her homes in the comments down below. I also recently started a personal channel and I've been posting a lot of fun stuff over there. So if you want to get to know me a bit better, please go like and subscribe. We'll link you my latest video. Are you more analytical or creative? Totally creative. Creative all the way. I gotta do a lot of analytics for YouTube. It's not my strong suit. But well, you're good at the analytics. You just, you prefer the creative stuff. And he's the best at like creating stuff. Thumbnails and carving pumpkins. He's the artsy one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and drop a comment for whose house tour you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!